Hello, my name is Sula, and this is the introduction to an eight-day course that I've developed for beginners to amateur astronomy. I'm an amateur astronomer, or what you might call a visual astronomer or backyard astronomer. I'm not a professional astronomer. I don't get paid to make celestial observations or to study the night sky, but professional astronomers generally don't look at the sky. <laughs> they mostly sit at computers and analyze data, and they usually have degrees or backgrounds, anyway, in physics or math, which I do not have. I do have two degrees, but not in those subjects. However, ever since I was eight years old and we sent Neil Armstrong to the moon, I've been fascinated with astronomy, and I've spent many years observing and exploring the night sky with either my naked eye, with binoculars, or telescopes. And I've owned many telescopes over the years, and I've spent a lot of time reading materials to learn more to educate myself about astronomy, including astronomy books, astronomy lectures, physics books, and books about the cosmos and about the universe, and books about all those objects out there in space that I love to look at. So I consider myself a self-taught astronomer with a particular interest in visual astronomy. I enjoy looking at the night sky and learning about it. Is that something that interests you? To learn more about observing the night sky and learning about it? Then this program is for you. This program is for beginners to the wonderful hobby of amateur astronomy. Maybe you went on a camping trip and you saw the Milky Way for the first time, or maybe you looked at the sky and you realized that you couldn't identify a single star or constellation, or you wondered which one of those points of light are planets. Or maybe you heard about a meteor shower and you decided you wanted to learn more about what causes meteor showers or how to watch one. Whatever the reason is for your interest in the night sky, if you're just starting out in amateur astronomy, then this program is for you. I've decided this year to make an eight-day program to help you become an amateur astronomer. By sharing with you all my accumulated knowledge over the past several decades, in eight simple to follow and easy to understand programs. And this is day one, introduction of myself and the course. So now that I've told you about myself and my credentials, now let me tell you the rest of the outline for this course so you'll know where we're heading. Day one, introduction of myself and my credentials and the course. Day two, understanding the motion of the sky and how the sky works and also the phases of the moon. Day three, learning how to read star charts and learning distances in the sky and learning what are the constellations. Day four, getting started learning the night sky. What equipment do you need? Day five, let's talk about light pollution. Day six, star brightness, star patterns. What are the brightest stars and brightest constellations and where are they? And where are the planets and how do you find them? Day seven, should I get a telescope? What kind of telescope should I get? How do you use a telescope? And day eight, what kinds of objects can you expect to see with a telescope of various sizes? And what can you expect to see in general, and what other things are there to see in the sky, day and night. And lastly, the conclusion. So that's the end of day one, introduction of me, Sula, visual astronomer or backyard astronomer, and course outline of eight day astronomer. I'll see you in the next one, day two, understanding the motion of the sky and how the sky works. Till then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever, Sula. Signing off.